Hey guys, welcome to today's video, and for the first time, it's been a while, I got distracted with off-roading, but I am going to be doing a rock counting video today, and it's less of a spot guide, more of a I'm poking around up here on top of Monte Cristo, and I'm going to see if I can find some more fossil spots down the back roads that aren't, you know, on a main highway. That might be easier to get to. Um, I'm probably going to be filming an overland video here too. And I don't think I plan on actually being able to find anything until the morning. It's already about 7. And I'm in Arbs Basin right now. But I'm trying to look around here. What I thought was some limestone is actually not. I figured because we're not in the right layer, but I have to travel further down Curtis Creek Road. I think I just parked, there's this big pit bowl area that a lot of ATVs, it's pretty rocky. I figured I'd poke around in here, but none of this looks promising. I might go check out that outcrop across the road, but yeah, this is basically what this video is going to be. I've plotted out a few points that I think could have some fossils there, is what I'm going to be searching for today. I've plotted out a few points already, but I don't think I'm planning on going too much further down the road today. I want to set up camp here in Arbs Basin. So... I'll see you guys in the morning and see, maybe I'll check out a couple of the outcroppings just right here in the basin, just on the off chance, but hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys, I made my way over to this rock outcropping and it's looking to be about the same sort of thing. It's not limestone like I thought. I will post, uh, there should be a text right now about what the layer actually is, but I think the rock is dolomite and it is not in a layer where it has what I'm looking for, which is some more marine fossils. But I figured since I'm not going to be going too much further today, I might as well stop and take a look here since I have the time. And I started late, and so I'm not going to get to where I originally planned on going. But, I figured poking around could never hurt. You never know when you'll find something. But, I'll make sure, I'll leave spots, and I'll link a map in the description. With my rock hound spots, and it'll be updated with these points. Assuming I find anything in this video. But basically, this video is testing my little theory slash idea of using the rock layers map provided by the U Utah Geologic Service, I think, has an interactive one. And seeing if I can look at the layers and then combine that with Onyx and Satellite View to find outcrops of rock in the certain layers that could provide the material or fossil that I'm looking for. This video is basically just me experimenting with the idea of finding more rock hound spots that may or may not be further off the beaten path. But yeah, beautiful fall colors up here though. Alright guys, well it's the next morning now, and I am here at the first point I marked on my map, which is that this right here, and you can see already this is different, we are now in a limestone layer, I'll put the name up on the screen again, but I googled a bit and did some research, and this is a layer that can have fossils. I don't know how common it is, but I figured I could see on satellite all these rock outcroppings on the hill. So I marked this as a point as this is one of the points 
that was in the right spot that in my mind had a chance of containing what we're looking for. So I'm going to sit here, walk around for a bit, see what I can find, and I'll update you guys with what I find. This spot doesn't seem to be what I'm looking for at all. It is this kind of, I think it's limestone, but it's all like this where it has all the other rocks inside of the other rock and that's not sure what causes that but I know that that is not where I've usually found some fossils in is rock that looks like that it's usually just plain limestone not just with all the inclusions I'm not sure what those are the that are in the rock. I kind of wonder if they're like the uh, Woodruff uh, fossil concretions maybe. But I don't think so because I don't see any loose anywhere. So I think it's just in the rock. I might be in between rock layers which could be it. Because this is the first spot I marked. So, it is the first in the layer that I drove into. So, I'll be moving on. I have a few more spots marked. We'll see if we can find anything there. Alright guys, we are at the second spot I plotted. I have pulled off the road entirely at a camp spot that was empty. Because this time it's a bit of a walk, just following the tree line. And on satellite, there is this large outcropping that I can see on the hillside over here. And I'm going to follow the tree line until I get to it. And hopefully this time, it'll be what I'm looking for. I'm not seeing anything yet. But I'm also not looking too hard where I'm walking. I'm just trying to get to the edge. But, I'll update you guys on if I find any. Alright, well, we've made it to the spot I had marked. And, the reason I had it marked is because it is just this giant exposed field of rock. But, I'm going to start poking around, see if I can see anything... Hopefully this spot will have something. Not too sure what's with the rocks here, but they all seem to be kind of like that. Just a conglomerate of other rock. But I'll see what I can find. Alright guys, so after a bit of searching here, we found a bunch of the same stuff. Um, I'll show it up on screen right now. I took a picture. This spot looks like we did find, it looks like there was some iron inclusions in some of the rocks and potentially some fossilized algae, I think, based on what I've seen at other spots. But yeah, this spot, nothing that I was looking for today. And even the algae and the iron inclusions, they weren't anything super interesting they were just there so i'm walking back to the car now and i'll head over to the next spot and maybe we'll find something today <laughs> All right guys i am at another spot i think this is the second to last spot i have marked and this one is out in one of these hollows and as you can see it's this canyon with lots of exposed rock on both sides and I'm up just walking this way a bit I'm gonna check out this whole ledge maybe walk across and then drive down to the other one but I'm up here now interestingly this is, this is that lighter 
color of rock that we saw at that other one that was just the thin band this is there's quite a lot of it here but as you can see just this outcropping and the fall colors over there is man the fall colors right now are just it's only the end of september and some of the quakies up here are already really bright yellow and orange some of them are still green too but let you go, guys know if I find anything. All right guys, so before I even had a chance to put the camera away, right down here at my feet, if I flip the camera around, right there. Uh, it's not focusing on it very well. I'll probably put a picture of it, but if you can't see, there are a bunch of crinoids i think is what they are they're crinoid stems they're small but you can see them in this rock limestone that there is crinoid stems in here which means i have found a spot where i have successfully found some fossils so i'm gonna keep looking around here see if i can find more find anything more impressive but i've actually found a spot just by looking at a rock map and guessing so i call this a success all right guys well what i'm seeing here makes me wish i had stayed at that other spots a little longer because it's the same kind of rock that i was not thinking was what i'm looking for and then i'm walking up here at this outcropping and right there let's see if it'll focus Okay, it won't focus, but I'll throw a picture up on screen. Right here is what looks like a crinoid stem, just right on top of the rock. I'm going to go grab a rock hammer, see if I can find more of this rock, dig around a bit. But this looks like I've found a spot where there are some fossils. All right, guys, I'm up on top of the hill, and I'm going to just make an update. I've been finding more stuff, as you'll see in these next few pictures. But one thing about this spot, I will say, is that you really don't want to be looking for the rock that they are coming out of. I have used a rock hammer and tried to whack a few off the rock, but the rock up here is just, it's really tough and it doesn't want to break so I haven't had any luck at getting any good pieces out of the rock but what I've had luck with is just walking around and there are pieces of the rock weathered out that you can pick them up and some of them will have some fossils on them so I think that's really how you go about this spot is you're gonna be wanting to just look around on the ground because the rock here is pretty tough and I haven't been able to break it apart too easily. All right, guys, so I just walked up the other side of the hill, and yes, the same layer occurs on both sides of this canyon, or little canyon slash wash. But basically, over there, I will circle it while I point. You want to be up on top in that flat area right there, and that is where I found the most. And then you can park on the side of the road, just make sure you get all the way off. Then on this side, it is up towards those small pine trees up there towards the top where you'll want to be looking. And I'm going to go check out the one cliff side there. You can see just a little further down. Check over there for anything. See if it extends that way a ways. But, and then I'll head on to the last spot. All right guys, so that is going to be the end of today's video with one successful spot found. I'm not sure I'd call that the greatest, but it's something. <laughs> so let me know down in the comments what your guys' thoughts are on 
today's video. And I will make sure to leave in the description the coordinates of all the five spots I searched, I think. So that if I miss something, or there is something there, or you guys just want to check it out for yourselves, you guys can go ahead and search there. And let me know down in the comments what you guys find. I'm interested to see if I missed anything at those first couple spots, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.